everyone and welcome back to Tea Time Crochet. Um, today I wanted to go over uh, working in the round. Um, it can kind of be confusing when you're first starting out so I thought that I would uh, make a tutorial on it. So I just have some scrap yarn here. It's just Red Heart Super Saver in bright yellow. It's a number four and it calls for a 5.5 millimeter hook so I have a 5.5 millimeter hook now there are two different ways that you could start off um, you can start off by doing the magic loop so how I do my magic loop is I wrap it around my fingers like this and then I just hold it and I'll grab the yarn that is attached to the ball and pull it through and make a loop and then pull that tight so it, it's still adjustable so that is one way and then you would work your stitches around this and then join at the end and then the second way which is the most common is you'll start with your slip knot and you'll chain three and then you'll join to form a ring with this first chain and then you'll work your stitches into this hole that it's created. So we're going to go ahead and use that one today. So to start your um, your round, since we're working in a circle, we're going to chain three because we're going to do double crochet and it would be the same with any stitch that you're doing um, you would just use the appropriate number of chains for starting that stitch. Then you're going to go into the ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two. Now we're going to do that 12 times, and that's counting um, this chain three. So that's 12. Let me double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So once you have your 12, we're going to join with this, the top of this chain 3 with a slip stitch. And then we're going to pull this tail right here, and that will close up the hole. So that is round one. Now to work on round two, we're going to chain three and we're going to go back into that same stitch and do a double crochet. And then we're going to put two double crochets in each stitch around. So like that. So go ahead and put two double crochets in each stitch around and then I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I've made it to my last stitch right here, so I'm going to put two double crochets in it. And then I'm going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three.
Okay, so that's round two. So to start round three, we're going to chain three again. And that's going to count as our first double crochet. And then in this next one, we're going to put two double crochet. In the same stitch. And in the next one, we're going to put one double crochet. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. So it's going to be one and then an increase, which is two double crochet, one increase, one, all the way around. So I have my one here, and the next one would be an increase. And then the next one would be one double crochet. So I'll meet up with you at the end of this row. Okay, I've made it to my last stitch. And it is an increase stitch, so I'm going to put two double crochet in there. And then I'm going to join to the top of this chain three with a slip stitch. So that is the end of round three. And you'll see that it's slowly getting larger. So for round four, we're going to chain three. And then we're going to put one double crochet in this next stitch. And then an increase in the next one. So for this round, the repeat is one double crochet, one double crochet, and then an increase. And for every round um, from here on out, you're going to add one more double crochet. So the, the next round will be four double crochets and then the increase. And then, you know, the next round after that would be five until you get the piece as large as you need it to be. So one double crochet. So one double crochet in each of the next two stitches and then your increase. And you're going to repeat that all the way around. So the next one will be one double crochet and then one double crochet and then the increase. So I'll meet up with you at the end of this round. Okay, I've made it to my last stitch here and it's an increase stitch. So I'm gonna put two double crochet in it. And then I'm going to join to the top of this chain three with a slip stitch. So it's gradually going to get bigger and bigger until it gets to the size that you need it to be. So once again, for the next row after this, it would be three double crochet and then an increase. And then for the row after that, it would be four double crochet and then the increase. And then you just continue on adding one double, one more stitch um, before the increase. And then once you get it as big as your pattern says that it needs to be, then you can just continually um, put one stitch in every, or one double crochet in every stitch. Uh, you'll need to um, be able to know how to do this in order to do hats, um, bags, slippers, you know, stuffed animals, anything like that, that you have to work in the round. You'll have to know how to do this. So I just wanted to go over that with you real quick. Um, we will be uh, using this uh, working in the round next week. So I want to thank everybody for watching.
and have a great day.